Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I am going to teach you protein translation process. Translation is generally divided into three stages initiation, elongation, and termination. In bacteria, initiation begins with the binding of initiation factors to the 30S ribosomal subunit, beginning with IF1 and IF3. The mRNA, the initiator N formal methionyl tRNA, and IF2 then join the complex. IF2, which is bound to GTP, specifically recognizes the initiator tRNA. Initiation codons in bacterial mRNAs are preceded by a specific sequence, called a shine delgarno sequence, that aligns the mRNA on the ribosome for translation. The shine delgarno sequence forms base pairs with a complementary sequence near the 3' end of the ribosome 16 srRNA. In the next step of initiation, IF1 and IF3 are released, and the 50S ribosomal subunit binds to the complex. This association triggers the hydrolysis of bound GTP and the release of IF2, now bound to GDP. The result is the formation of a 70S initiation complex that is ready to begin peptide bond formation during the elongation stage of translation. The ribosome has three sites for tRNA binding, designated the P, peptidal, A, amino acyl, and E, exit, sites. The initiator methionyl tRNA is bound at the P site. The first step in elongation is the binding of the next amino acyl tRNA to the A site by pairing with the second codon of the mRNA. The tRNA is escorted by an elongation factor called EF2, which is complexed to GTP. Insertion of a correct amino acyl tRNA into the A site triggers the hydrolysis of the GTP and release of the elongation factor. A peptide bond can now be formed between the initiator methionyl tRNA at the P site and the second amino acyl tRNA at the A site. This reaction is catalyzed by the large ribosomal subunit. The next step in elongation is translocation, which requires another elongation factor called EFG and is again coupled to GTP hydrolysis. During translocation, the ribosome moves three nucleotides along the mRNA, positioning the next codon in an empty A site. The binding of a new amino acyl tRNA to the A site then induces the release of the uncharged tRNA from the E site. Another peptide bond forms. Elongation of the polypeptide chain continues until a termination codon is translocated into the A site of the ribosome. Cells do not contain tRNAs with anticodons complementary to termination codons. Instead, a release factor recognizes and binds to a termination codon and then stimulates the hydrolysis of the bond between the tRNA and the polypeptide chain at the P site. The completed polypeptide is released from the ribosome. The tRNA molecules, ribosomal subunits, and the mRNA template dissociate from each other. I hope this will be helpful to you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.